Welcome back my beautiful Cancerian friends. Welcome to another weekly love read here with me. My name is Rosa. I'm going to take a look and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Do keep in mind Cancer, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. So take what speaks, leave what doesn't apply. Should you enjoy this reading, of course, feel free to let me know by hitting the like button and or subscribing where you will be notified of every time I release a new video here on the channel. If you would like to connect with me on my Instagram, all those details will be in the show notes section below as well. Okay, so Cancer, we're just going to dive straight on in. I hope you've been looking after yourself. We're going to see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week using my latest deck, the Muse Tarot. Okay, what's coming through for Cancer? What have we got here? We've got the wheel. Interesting. So I feel like with the wheel, anything goes this week in love, Cancer. What's this one? This one's sticking out. Muse of Voices. Muse of Voices, which I think this is a new deck. So I think the Muse of Voices might be the King of King of Wands. So you could be dealing. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see what else is coming through for you in love. This is the thing, right, with the wheel. The wheel is a constant reminder that there's always ups and downs, okay? There's always ups and downs when it comes to love and our feelings and our emotions and relationships. Like, it's never a smooth ride. So that's what the wheel is coming in and letting you know. It's not a smooth ride. But what is going to work out in your favour in the upcoming days and week, Cancer, is with the Muse of Voices, this is telling you um, to maybe be more head over heart, okay? What's going to work for you in love or what's going to work for you in a particular situation involving someone that you're attracted to here is more logic over emotion, okay? Because... The muse of voices, he is more in the head. Um, he's kind of like detached from his emotions. And we know that you are a water sign, so you're more connected to your emotions. What's interesting is now you've got the muse of materials, which is um, the king of pentacles. So I always see the King of Pentacles as an energy of someone who is focused on the material world, who is focused on building themselves up financially. Let's just see what else is coming through. That's really interesting here. Spirit angels and guides, what messages do you have for our beautiful Cancerians? Oh, queen of emotions. There you are, Cancer. There you are. <laughs> Eight of emotion. <laughs> All right. What is this telling us this week? And we've got the Four of Voices. Okay. So, I'll just move that down. You're showing up strong, Cancer. I feel like with the Queen of Emotions, what this is saying here is you don't need to change who you are. Okay, you don't need to be somebody else or act any differently. You just need to show up as yourself. Queen of emotions. Okay, queen of cups.
we've got the eight of emotions, which is, you know, walking away. Walking away, um, turning your back on um, something that displeases you, something that doesn't make you happy here. If you're involved in a situation here with someone where it's not fulfilling you or it doesn't excite you, um, you're being called to just walk away. And with the four of voices, this is reflection. Taking the time to reflect on how it is you're feeling. Focus on how this person is making you feel. And just really think things through. I don't feel like with the four of voices, this is a time to um, open up the lines of communication. I just feel like it's a time to kind of retreat um, and really think things through. Be with your emotions. Be with your thoughts. What's coming through for you this week? The person that you're dealing with here, they may be coming through as very detached, okay? Uh, maybe they're feeling, you know, maybe they're acting very closed off to you right now. And one of those reasons is because they're very focused on the material world. Maybe this person is really focused on um, their job, their career, building up some kind of a legacy for themselves, Okay, so I'm also seeing that too. I feel for you, Cancer, what's going to work in your favour is to detach, okay, and do the same, okay? The Queen of Emotions, she mirrors, she mirrors the actions of the person that um, she's connecting to or she detach, like the Queen of Emotions has this ability to act indifferent so i feel like that's what you're being guided to do is just you know what detach from your emotions just focus on the things that make you happy if this person isn't talking well the four of voices is telling you well you know don't feel the need to reach out and start a conversation with them just Withdraw into yourself. We're not saying it's not saying to close yourself off. It's just sort of with the aid of emotions. What this is saying is if this, if what they're doing isn't making you happy, then you can just pull into yourself, Cancer. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The Queen of Emotions as well, what I really love about her energy is that she has a very big heart, but she also just doesn't wear her heart on her sleeve, okay? You can um, when it's equal give and take, but she is pulling into herself and she's just filling up her own cup right now. And I feel like that's the advice here, Cancer. Let's get some more energy from this person. Oh, this is interesting, past life relationship. I feel like you've known this person for quite some time. So the person that you're dealing with in love and relationship, I feel like you have a past life connection to this person. Or I get with this past life relationship card, this kind of reminds me of the Six of Cups card where you've known each other for a really long time. Or this could be an ex that you're dealing with here. Okay. Okay. But there's a comfortability that comes through with this card. So this person feels comfortable with you. Um, ooh, too many cards. Let's just grab another one. Spirit Angels and Guys, what messages do you have for Cancer when it comes to her special person? Passion. This person does uh, feel the passion for you, Cancer. Okay, they still carry a lot of passion here for you. They may even come through in the upcoming days and week where they 
where they say something or they do something that indicates strongly that they still feel passionately towards you. Okay, let's grab another card. Oh, forgiveness. This person may be asking for your forgiveness here. Okay. Uh, maybe they they know that they've acted distant or detached. This person knows that they're focusing on um, other things right now. And look, this might come through a conversation that you have. And they might be wanting your forgiveness here, Cancer. Or an, like they could be apologizing to you here. Okay, let's see what else is coming through. Oh, yeah, the bear. So I feel like your person has definitely retreated. Um, the downward pointing triangle with the line through it does represent the element of earth. So I do feel like this person is strongly uh, focusing on the material world right now. Okay, the bear has gone into his cave. Why? Because this person is, yeah, heavily dedicated on the... The material world, their job, their career, their business. Um, but is a, is a softie at heart, okay? The bear is really cuddly and is big softie at heart. It's just that, yeah, they've really gone into focus on the material world. Uh, the beaver, interesting. Uh, downward pointing triangle does represent the sign of water. So it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or someone with uh, strong water in their moon chart here. I do feel like with the beaver, this is a family um, man or a family woman. Okay, the beaver is all about the family and friends. So this person may want family. This person may be working hard to provide for the family, uh, especially if you're married to this person and you have family or children with this person. This is what this person is doing. They're working hard for the family. They're working hard on providing uh, for the family. Again, I'm getting legacy here. So this person is wanting to create some kind of a legacy or leave some kind of legacy behind. That's what I'm seeing here. But I, I get with your person, Cancer, I'm like they're a big softie. Um, deep down inside, this person has a lot of emotions that they might um hide behind that tough exterior of the muse of voices okay but deep down inside um they they're a big softy so there we have it cancer hope you enjoyed this reading until next week i'll speak to you soon